guys today I'm gonna teach you how to make a shaky video smooth and how to make a smooth video a little bit shaky to give the effect of a kind of holding in the hand you know so people don't get bored of the uh, a tripod a clip video clip or rather uh, rather people like a shaky one uh, basically this uh, smooth effect was has by a lot of people are after seeing the upcoming teaser of my short film, a zero budget film, they asked if I used mission for the shot, but actually no, I didn't use anything, I just used hand. Uh, the shot I'm talking about is this one. Let's take a look. shot but actually I didn't use any emission it looks pretty smooth but the raw footage actually is uh, pretty damn you know wait, wait let me play the raw footage this is the raw footage of the uh, video that you saw just before a uh, few minutes I didn't use any emission you can see that it's a really badly shaking and wiggling huh. you can see a lot of shakes because I was holding it in my hand and taking the shot now I'll teach you how to make it smooth so let's import this video <coughs> go, let's go ahead and make a new composition new composition basic settings now let's import the video this one yes, is it good? let's import the video uh, it's the shaky video what you have to do is this is basically an easy effect to do because uh, you don't need to do much specifications just go to effects and presets panel <coughs> it's loaded. Uh, now all you have to do is search for wall stabilizer yeah wall stabilizer uh, this effect basically smooths your video but you have to tweak exact some exact values so that you don't uh, make your video uh, lose your quality uh, I just didn't lose any clarity or quality of the video while making it you have to reduce the smoothness to less than 50 if you keep 50 it will you know like make your video more uh, like a blurred one it doesn't give you the exact clarity so we just reduce it about 25 and let it give it some time to analyze smooth uh, in auto scale if you want to get a really good quality you let it auto scale itself and reduce its size but if you want uh, you know like a blurry quality you can have it full screen if you see my video uh, I gave auto scale because I wanted it to have a, a exact and beautiful qu uh, quality so it looks clear and everything so let's give it some time I'll pause it again till it analyzes and changes uh, it will initialize and it will do frame by frame it will take you you have to give it some time you know so that's it guys we are done let's take a look at this video you can see that it's smooth without any loss of clarity but the size also reduced you saw the shaky video and now you are seeing the smooth version so that's it this is the simple effect of making a a shaky video smooth in After Effects you can also do it in Premiere Pro but Premiere Pro does, uh, doesn't give you the exact clarity it changes the size it blurs it so many complications in Premiere Pro this, so this one is pretty easy and simple in After Effects you just need to give it some time that's all now uh, I'll teach you I'll be back and teach you how to make a tripod or smooth video a little bit shaky so it gives the feel. I'm back. I'll import a video first. A uh, smooth tripod video. So, uh, just a minute. Uh -huh. I forgot where I Which one? Which one? Which one? Which one? Come on. Okay. This one will do. 
so let's drag it into a new composition you can see this video has no shakes it's a pretty small video I just wanted to show you how to do the effect see the screen is stable no shakes so what you have to do is uh, go to this Wiggler tab uh, if yours is not available you can just go to window 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 and tick the Wiggler so oh, let's go to transform options and go to position default position let's set a keyframe at the beginning of where you want the camera shake and let's go to somewhere else and keep another key now select both the keyframes select both the keyframes now now you can change the noise type to jagged magnitude keep the magnitude less cause a magnitude will make this go out or go in so you don't want that to happen let the magnitude be like 2 frequency if you want it to be more shaky you can give it like more so it depends upon your requirement of the camera shake I just, I'm just giving 8 and if I apply you can see get the camera shape uh, if you don't want this white white thing to appear you can just scale your video up a little bit so we don't want it up here see now we get the camera shape nice and smooth so that's it guys you can ask for any other after effects tutorial and don't forget to check out my next short film the street cricket version 2.0 and it's full of visual effects you can ask any doubt from it and I'll I'm ready to make you a tutorial. Thank you. Meet you next time. Peace.